Hey, good evening friends, it's Carl. Welcome to the bathroom. Tuesday, uh, yeah, 31 July, Tuesday scrape time. Well, it's also Tuesday if you're in IJS, so in honor of that, we'll be using the Old Spice Musk in the tube. First use on this soap, we'll be following it up with the Aqua Velva Musk, because hey, why not? Do a little Nivea Balm for the uh, brush. Of course, of course, just because it's on my drying rack, Omega Bore 10,098. Lord Tech Razor, uh, Voskhod, third use in that. And I got 24 hours growth. I want, I thought about doing maybe a, a straight or a shavette, but uh, let my face rest a little bit. I had a bit of a, a rough show yesterday. So anyway, hope everybody's doing well out there. Let me get going. We're going to be using the Iceman Custom Bowl. Uh, you may notice that the color on this camera is a little different. It's my old phone, because my new phone is apparently acting stupid. It said, as I was getting ready to set everything up, I got this message that said, hey, your phone is overheating. I was like, yeah, okay, whatever that means. But you know, it's Texas, it's hot. I just got done with my fat man 50 minute walk, uh, three miles, so who knows, maybe that's what it is. So let's get going, enough yapping, right? Hope your week is good, hope everybody's doing well, hope you're having great shaves. Happy Tubes Day, friends, happy Tubes Day. Um, everything is good on my end, nothing, nothing to report as uh, Shug Emery the, the uh, hammock camping guy, or Paul H., might say, all's quiet in Sector 7. Anyway, yeah, so things are good, life is good, work is good. I'm still fat, a little less fat though, a little less fat. Um, this actually smells really nice. Not as musky as I thought it would be, but uh, it's very nice, very nice water no uh no hot and spicy shave abe or jimco if you guys watch this i forgot to go to the store again i thought about just eating a big spoonful of uh sriracha but eh, who knows all right let's get cracking water on the mug nice rich creamy this is the actually the only second me speak English. This is the second Old Spice cream that I've used. The first one was just the original. And I don't know if it was user error, but I had trouble with it dissipating. So, try to add a little bit more soap to the bowl on this one. Probably need a little bit more water. But so far, nice and creamy. We almost got some peaks. So yeah, phone overheated, hot in Texas, 97. We didn't get 100 today, so that was nice. Fat man walk, 50 minutes, three miles. Yeah, what else? Great day on Sunday. Thanks everybody for asking and the well wishes for those two young men who got baptized. It was good. Uh, their mom came, first time she ever visited our little church. She had smile as big as Texas on her face watching her boys get baptized. It was very, very cool. So, hopefully, she, she came for the baptismal service. She came back for the evening service, so maybe those two boys will do a little, a little work for the kingdom in their home. Do it be a good example? And uh, possibly through their example and their testimony, maybe see uh, their folks get saved if they're not already, which would be pretty cool. I just think it would be cool for the, you know, family to come to church together. That's really it, man. Um, 
pretty uneventful since I saw you guys last on Sunday, especially since, you know, I, I don't have any hot peppers to spice things up, so to say. It's just going to be me shaving with a DE, talking probably about nothing. But that's like, yeah, that's what you need, right? Haven't had a chance to watch any shaving videos yet this week. But, got a little impromptu day off tomorrow. So I'm gonna try and watch a few videos, maybe uh, catch up on some reading. It should be a good time. Speaking of good times, the shave. First pass is done. Very nice. Decent slickness. Nice uh, cushion. Pretty good scent. Maybe just a tad tingle around the uh, around the old mustache area. But I'm not ready to jump up and down and say that's a reaction. It could just be, uh, who knows. But just ever so slight. So, all right. Cold water shave, by the way, because it's, did I mention, it's hot here in Texas. Second pass. Cross the growth, which may, for some of you who don't know or don't watch or haven't watched, may look a little different than most guys who do their across the growth because they usually kind of come like this. But for me, this upward shave is across until I get to the fat line on the neck. What I like to <laughs> lovingly called the fat equator and then we go down and we still come up on the sideburns and the cheeks And I love this little razor. If you're in the market for an inexpensive, decent working, decent working, decent shaving, Gillette Tech clone, if you can't find a real tech or if you're not really that interested in one, this is a great shaver if you're starting out or whatever. I love this thing. As comfortable and as mild as a real honest to goodness Gillette Tech I get pretty much the same shave as I do from this one in my little ball end tech um, so yeah the trick is is that one was like eight bucks on Amazon so I like it. I probably say that every time I use it. Speaking of like it, I like this, uh, like this cream. I like the scent. I'm not super musky. Like I remember back in the '70s, I was a young and you know, I was born in '75. So in the '70s and '80s, when musky scented colognes were all the thing and. Jovan Musk was everywhere and 
you could get musk from Avon, and gosh, my dad had a ton of it because we used to buy it for him from Avon or the drugstore or whatever for like almost every occasion. It was either Old Spice or some type of musk cologne. So I remember that stuff, and this is nowhere near as strong. All right, so last pass across the against the grain, which for me is this way. So um, that's what I think of when I think of musk. It's kind of those old, really strong, like 70s and 80s avon -y kind of scents. This is nowhere near that. It's got kind of a, some similar notes. But nowhere near as uh, burly. But then again, what do I know? Because my nose is full of boogers 98% of the time. Um, even the aqua velva mess, musk isn't as strong as the musky scents that I remember from back in, in my youth that we always would pawn off on my old man or my brothers before they wised up and got real colognes. You know, musk was kind of a, an old guy cologne in the 80s, I think. At least that's what we always said because it came from, most of it, most of what we saw came from Avon or the grocery store. But I think like, and I'm no expert on colognes and aftershaves, but isn't Jovan Musk like, uh, like a like a legit name? Like, it wasn't really a, a cheap brand back in the day. Even if it may not even be now, I don't know. Anyway, Musk. Yeah, it's uh, not as musky as I remember. How about that? That might be the title for <laughs> the title for this video. Not as musky as I remember. It's old ice cream though. Better than I remember. At least uh performance wise. Cause I'm assuming they're the same base with just different scents, but once again, what do I know? Um, besides the fact that I had ordered off of eBay and it came straight from India. Oh, pretty cool though. Um, I always like getting just little cleanups here. I always like getting postage from other countries. Just interesting to see stamps and whatnot. Yeah, I'm weird, I know. You know, I ordered a razor from eBay from France. I've got some Russian postage from a straight razor I, I ordered on or got from Etsy. A couple packages from England. It's just cool. Nifty. All right. That's the shave. Hmm. At the end, maybe a little more tingle than I bargained for. Not bad, just a little, a little here, maybe a little here. Nothing that's going to make me go, I'm not using that again, but going to watch it, going to watch it, friend. Got a ton of it left over, but I'm not going to use that on my head. Not because I'm scared of the reaction. I want to finish up this little Tim's. So we'll be doing a little Tim's mahogany lavender. We're getting close to the end of it. You may say, Carl, why are you in such a big hurry to get rid to not get rid of it, but to use it up? Well, it's one of my older soaps. And you guys have probably heard me say this. I ain't buying any more soaps until I use something up. So, got to use this one up so that I can get something new. See how that works? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, 20, 30 second load. We're getting close. I'm starting to get a divot. I can see just the beginnings of the ring of death down in the bottom. So,
Head blade. Well, maybe not. <laughs> womp, womp. Oh, let's see. This clips onto here. Maybe. Maybe. Tough to do with wet hands. There it is. Problem solved. Problem staying solved. Here we go. Man, you know, as I'm halfway through this head shave, I think I started thinking to myself, tonight would have been the perfect night to practice a straight razor head shave. Since I ain't got to work tomorrow, and if I really do a number on myself, I would have time to heal and I wouldn't have to go see patients with a big band-aid on my melon or a scab. But, as always, I'm not that prepared of a YouTuber. I don't even know why you guys watch me. Probably like the messiest, <laughs> the messiest, meth, messiest latherer. I talk like a stinking hillbilly. I talk about nothing. Sling lather everywhere. My shaving technique is probably miserable, so don't try and learn from me. No, actually. And I know you guys may be going, Carl, why are you talking so badly about yourself? I'm just kidding. I don't take much of this very seriously. I take you guys seriously because I appreciate your time and your views and your comments and the uh, friendship and camaraderie that we've built in this community. But the actual shaves and the being a softcore YouTube porn star, as my brothers say, or... As I've been guilty of saying, a big time shaving star on YouTube or whatever. It's all just silliness. For the most part, I do what has to be done. And I turned it, something that was mundane, into a hobby. Met a lot of cool guys and gals doing it this way, doing it on YouTube. Shared some great tips, had some great conversations. So, it's good stuff, man. But I do not take it seriously. If I, you know, I'm grateful for the 800 plus subs, grateful for all that stuff. And if I ever, you know, get big enough for monetization or whatever, that would be just icing on the cake. I mean, when I started this channel, Two, three years ago, whatever it was, I never in a million years would have thought anybody would watch my videos. And I made a bunch of videos, just random stuff to see, you know, kind of that old, that old thing. Uh, what is it? Throw it against the wall and see what sticks. And so I just kind of lined up my interests and my hobbies and the shaving videos just seemed more natural to do, easier, more fun, and got better responses, except for the spicy eating stuff. But, I mean, but anyway. So, it is what it is. I don't even know how I got on this topic. or joking around about how dumb I am or something. I don't know. Anyway, all that being said, thank you guys and gals for watching. I'm putting up with my blathering. This really is fun. I don't take it very seriously. A lot of people get really kind of can, or can get. I've seen people get bent out of shape and little groups and factions of this guy against that guy and these kind of razors against that kind of razors and this soap maker against that soap maker and 
it just gets ugly and no me gusta. I just want to get on here, meet some cool people, have shaves, do silly nonsense, maybe eat some spicy food and cry and snot while I'm trying to shave my face because that sounds like fun. But anyway, that is enough of that yapping. Oh gosh, so bad you're a kefir. Beautiful, fantastic shave. Yeah, very smooth, no nicks, no cuts, no irritation. Little, well, like, yeah, little tingly tinglies, no big deal. I don't know what that is. It could be because uh, I was out walking in the sun. Could be like sunburn irritation, could be allergic reaction, who knows. But everything was fantastic. The cream smelled great, performed beautifully. The little Tim's, it's always a winner. Headblade ATX, I dig it. The, uh, um, I don't even know where it went. Lord L6, I took it apart already. Fantastic little shaver. It's just a little bit pimp. I'm gonna put a little musk on now. Yeah, this is the stuff. This stuff, though, it doesn't smell as strong as uh, back in the day, but it is strong. You got to, you got to watch how much you put on. Like especially if you're gonna put it on and then go out in public. Put it on one time, didn't realize how much I put on. I thought I was pretty frugal with it. Whew, I smelt. My girlfriend at the time said I smelt. Everybody I walked by said I smelt. Kind of funny. But anyway, that's that. Um, you guys don't need to see me put the lotion on the skin. But thank you guys. And I don't know if you guys saw that. My battery warning just popped up. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great week. I hope your shaves are going well. Happy Tubes Day. This uh, Tuesday scrape has been fantastic. I'll catch you next time. If not Thursday, maybe Sunday. No matter what you do, go see your friends and family. Spend some time because it's really important. I'm Carl. Have a great night. God bless. I'll see you next time.